Welcome back, Kerry Sessi and Jesus here. In today's video, we've got the return of the three level series. I'm looking at three different levels of players. I'm looking at a semi pro, a pro who's consistently I'm making it to finals, and then myself as the bigger level player to so the bottom tier player. I managed to make it through opens finally somehow, and I managed to place 385th in this round, so I need a top 250 to qual. So, looking at some of our games here, some of the mistakes that we made, and how we can avoid them in the future. And the fast semi pro player, we're going to be looking at Archie here. He's kind of the perfect example of a semi pro. He's got around 5k earnings. He's consistently making it into the semi finals of FNCS, but he's not quite qualifying for the finals, yet, not quite getting that top 50. And he's also not quite at the point where he's consistently making heats as well. And then for our pro player, sticking to the continued theme of actually the UK players, looking over here at Venno. You guys should know Venno, biggest rat in the world. And look at some of his games here with Queasy, obviously a really top tier IGL, and what they're doing. And basically, all of us are sort of playing the Spider Man meta at the moment. This is going to be really video useful video for you guys who want to get better in the current season in the current meta for the upcoming fncs qualifiers and all the duo cash cups as well hope you enjoy okay so off spawn me and quake are actually going ahead and landing directly here on south Carolina. this is pretty good because you're mid map and one thing i've actually learned from watching zero build rod use is to make sure you always land slightly split if it's a 50 50 so many people as you can see they 50 50 straight onto one area that means you're much more limited where you can see one player doesn't even have guns and then you can actually you don't have the advantage with me and him both get ARs from different angles and then we both simply get very nice kills just like that. So many people they do the exact same drop for one spot which obviously can work if you get the gun spawn but if you land at split angles and you both get a gun you've got a higher chance to win that spawn fight the majority of the time. From here we go ahead and actually W key this kid that was landing in our other split. So this is one thing that you need to be really aware of whenever you're fighting our spawn. You can see we've already got Cypher and Mats, we've already got a fairly decent loadout. I've got a shotgun, I think it's got SMG and we've done an insane loot advantage compared to this other guy. So he's going to go ahead and try to disengage, doesn't have as many mats as us. Gets beamed on the way as he tries to disengage. And at this point, we've got a really free fight, and we can just run over here and jump on him straight away. Well, obviously, if they, if they glide over our heads, we just take them straight out of the sky, which is probably the plan or, or get any tag. But I don't think they did. Yeah, no, they went that way. Because this team was scout dropping, I knew that they were just. They, you never land on this island, sorry. That's just something. Like, if you land on this island, we can key them so quick, you know? Yeah, and it's usually a team who have like dip, they've dipped off, you know, like he's dipped off and he, he just killed him and stuff. Yeah, and that's fair as well. That's fine. This is easy, and then instead of killing it, I was like, nah, let's just let's just cut. Like we needed a good game. We, we had a few bad games. Jeez, through, yeah. Like we would rotate if it's a far zone. I started rotating using the rifts in storm, and two games in a row, just as we we're going to get out of storm, we run into a team and they fought us. So you end up coming out of storm with no mats. And it just fucked two of our games. I didn't go in storm this time because it's too far. It's gonna pull far next, right? Yeah, yeah. Is that the worst zone for you, probably? Because you've got to run into everyone. Yeah, because running at the top of the map is horrible. Bottom of the map's okay. Drone sis is actually horrible. It, yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah. Blood kisser. Also, so so many of the zones are pulling back, like into the center from like they go far and Yeah, I think that's more common now. Yeah. Like, you used to only be like. Maybe one or two out of ten games, you know, but yeah, now, it's, now like, it's like half of them or something. Yeah, it's like three or four. Center. It's really nice, okay. All right, see Rift, go full north, this is good. Yeah, chilling. Lovely bit of surge. Right, this Back was our issue here, right? We had no surge, so we were fully uncon. Yeah. We needed, what, 20 points, and we had no surge. Obviously, I just played straight for a Spider Man. I was like, if we get a Spider Man, that's an easy call, right? Yeah. And luckily, good. we were just uncon. Just chill. I think you try to go to the sanctuary. Yeah, that's where I did go. Like coming out by this bridge is normally pretty decent. Because it doesn't look like it's going to pull fully low as well. <clears throat> no, yeah. Like you come out by the bridge and then you can go rock easily and get extra shots. Yeah, yeah. So obviously rifted there couldn't, you know, we couldn't go I don't all the way low. We can't so rift this side, Yeah. I say it's quicker to just run, isn't it? Yeah, probably. But obviously I was, was going to rift and dive anyway. But yeah. <laughs> right, so I've run through here. Still found no one, right? No one to tag. Look at, look at the rotate. Yeah, but why would there be someone to attack? Anyone, Sanctuary. Yeah, but like, why would there be someone to attack? There's a minute left on zone, and look where you are. Those only people fall back. Who, are, who griefed at Jonas's. There's only person you're going to see is whoever's griefed each other at Jonas's, and that doesn't happen every yeah. game. I mean, it's like bad when you come out. I think you just need to be a little bit earlier doing this, no? Like, yeah, you can. You're, you're, look, you're cat. We have to get listen, Spider Man. Listen, yeah, I know, but you're, you're cat brick and wood now. Like, there's no need to be cat brick and wood when you're running through shuffle. If you're here, like, two minutes earlier. And you're lacking a bit of stuff, you can easily right, get okay. it back. Obviously, you get your cap hat on and stuff, but if you're here like yeah. a little bit earlier, you'd 100% see these kids or something, you know? 
One thing you notice with Venom and Queasy is actually really efficient in their loot path, as you can see here. What they're going to do is actually splitting this path, so they've actually gone ahead and cleared out a whole load of stuff. And one thing that's been happening very frequently this season, in my opinion, is the fact that zones are pulling straight back like this. You can see here, it looks like it's going to pull north. However, one really common thing is zones pull straight back on themselves. This happens maybe we'll have like one, one out of ten games previously. Now it's happening every like three or four games out of ten. It's very common that they do this. They're just trying to control an area like on this hill and then have an early rotate as soon as second zone shows up is a really good strategy you can see they're really stacked on ammo they went ahead and bought ammo from a vending machine so you guys should always do and they get into a spot where they can refarm and they also elevate so they can even get more tags from this spot all right just quickly if you guys are enjoying this make sure you go check out the jewelers mask class below as you can see here's a whole load of stuff with Venno, how he became the best frag in the world just in-depth for use of him some more stuff with Venno down here there's also a video on how to play crap lords and also a video where i went through with queasy and Venno when they won the cash cup a bunch of mistakes that they were making during mid game and sort of end game stuff as well with the spider man that they actually fixed which allowed them to qualify for grands it's a pretty cool video i'd really recommend you guys check that out 100 it's the best thing you can do to improve at duos Make sure you guys check it out if you want to qualify for Cash Cup Finals. If you just want to get better at duos in general, this is going to be the thing that you guys need to be watching. So one thing that we were doing is basically predicting where second zone was going to go the majority of the time. So we'd farm loads of surge early. Obviously, it's mid-map, so you can get a lot of tags on Collider and then teams around Coney. And then we'd rotate very early before zone actually showed up. Predict where zone was going to go. So you can see it's going bottom left, but not fully in the ocean, which means it's most likely going to be a sort of greasy to tilted zone. And we get a very good building in center of second zone, which means we're going to get the next zone pool and then actually get pretty so lucky with zone pools this game and we get the majority of them but either way we're in a really good spot right here so both cat mats and we can just keep on getting surge tags i pick up a dmr and extra loot and actually go ahead and get a whole load of surge with this gun as well yeah pull center look which is fine like we're prepared for any zone here really yeah but center is a bit annoying yeah. but obviously there's pads on the lake and i was like well if we can try and get to a pad we actually got so lucky we pulled every zone in this pad but i mean if we didn't pull we could have just padded into the zone you know so it didn't matter where it was through on the pad. You could have played for like this hill top left maybe. If you need search, but like this is like the best thing. Yeah, you yeah, need search yeah, for yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't need search on it, we care. If you don't have any search, you don't go forward there, you just stay edge. And well, you, can, I, you can hold the gas yeah. station side. Yeah, yeah you're yeah, right. You know, I, I, you know thought, there's no one behind but, you, but you know I, there's going to be towards the gas station. Yeah, yeah, but I ran onto the top of this hill thinking that everyone will be coming in over this hill. Hopefully we don't pull zone and zone pulls far or just not on us and we can hold some more people. As far as I was concerned, there's no one behind us because unless there was a team in Storm, which there was, but I didn't know that. Three, you know? yeah. I don't think this is that bad because there's no there's no second zone surge in this. But they've like, done zero. Yeah, I know they've um, done literally zero surge. So yeah, I haven't seen anyone though. I've done about thirty, but I have literally done zero. I couldn't even tag anyone over over here. Literally, no one's tagged. And then we pull centre third, and I'm like, oh no. So at this point, it's just wraps in it. Yeah, well, I was like, we're gonna have to get on a wall. It's like that's all we like. There's no one to tag. There's nothing. You know what I mean? The servers are ruined. 66 alive, and we have done genuine zero tags. I it's think wraps. Because no, if you put, because if what happens at fourth is right, you're gonna pull center, so that means people have to rotate, and you just if you have to hold people like like you see that team where the airdrop was. We know where the airdrop was. That's actually anyone. That's we quite a bad zone because. We yeah, anyone. it's not great. It's I not think great. that hill spot hold you in as well. Cause look, no, like, only... look where you were and look at the teams not in. You could hold people. Not that we many people. Them. We literally couldn't see them, bro. Okay, then Easy you build up. Hills. Then you build up. Then it's yeah. better than dropping on a wall. Look at, look at all the teams you can hold. But we were 250 below. What would you do? Yeah, but you didn't know that here. You had you pushed yeah, before I mean, surge came up. This is actually better though, because no, I knew that like because I'd done no surge. I knew it was gonna be two hundred, but I had no surge, like zero. Yeah, but you can get enough on rotate. You because remember, though, listen, you. Let's say, let's say you do ninety on like on one guy, right? Up, uh, From the number of people coming into fourth, you can shoot another team and another team. It, it adds up. So doing yeah. 90, 90, 90, yeah. you're above. You know. Another thing that they're doing during mid games is really important if you're playing a stacked game out is trying to delay your rotates. If you're in a little bit more of a center zone spot, you can see here they're slightly split, which allows them to get more tanks, and they're holding all of these teams on edge, and this actually allows them to get a kill here in a second, but it's mainly for surge purposes. You delay your rotate when you're a little bit more centered towards zone, get as many tanks as possible, and then now, as you can see, the whole space in front of them is opened up, so they need to have a good rotate using line of sight, as you can see, which is what they do, and they get a whole load of surge by doing this, and it's actually a very clean and efficient rotate led by Queasy. Also, one thing you need to be aware of whenever you're playing Spider-Man is don't be afraid to use a Spider-Man charge to save mats. It's way better to go into endgame with like six or five Spider-Man charges, but be at least 100 extra plus mats. It's really important to make sure you try to save your mats. 
and you rotate efficiently. So right here you can see we get a very close 50-50 and one really important rule whenever you get a close 50-50 zone is you want to try to time your rotate so you're not the only one going. So you're basically going to try to go while these other people on backside sort of catch up near you and they're going to be the ones getting focused. You don't get tagged at all, it allows you to have a free rotate. It works really well with Spider-Man or without Spider-Man as you can see here. We wait for a second, now there's a few teams that are getting clustered around us, they're slightly below since we're elevated and we can easily just use one Spider-Man, get to a high layer, save a lot of maps by getting up and one thing we always did is actually make sure we build a box just like this. We have one that is slightly higher up just so we don't actually get sprayed down by a team below us. When it comes to rotating 50-50 with Spider-Man, one really important thing that you need to do that these guys do is to make sure you go at a fairly decent timing and you don't leave it too last second. As you can see here, with about eight seconds left, they start scouting out. They want to make sure that no teams start running over their head and pumping them in the back or something as they begin to go. So they wait for this team on their left to go. So you can see there, that's what Venno's scouting. He's also scouting out whether the high ground team that could potentially hold them has left. So they wait for all of these threats to leave and then they get a very nice timing. Of course, you can early rotate, especially on max distance pull. However, it's better a lot of the times to wait for these threats that could hold you and could shoot out your Spider-Man for them to go and then you can get a very free rotate like they're going to do here. So you can see there's a couple charges. And get to a very high layer to make sure they build metal make sure they're connected and one thing you need to do whenever you land on spider-man just try to go up one immediately so you can't get sprayed down so right here you can see we actually get first wing pulling towards us so we've already built a little bit of a pre-tarp where we can actually go ahead and spider-man from this is really important because a lot of people they edit out their base last second and they just spider-man it makes it really obvious that you can get a shot from so you could easily get focused by the high ground team which takes one of them to shoot you and then you're scuffed backside in a really bad spot and you're actually split as well so make sure you do things like that just building a little bit forward and make sure one really important thing when you're spider man is you try to stick to one side of zone you don't just swap around edges of zone the whole time if you let's say you're playing right side to start with first moving make sure you try to stick to that right side for the majority of zone so you can see here we still stick right side go above this team get up a layer just like this now we're in the end of zone and it's very important at this point when you're sort of near the end of zone you just go ahead and full tarp in obviously you're gonna get being just getting extremely laggy first moving is basically so laggy at the moment that's not even worth going for a play in my opinion you're better off just going ahead and actually tarping the end of first moving and not going for anything and just trying to play really passive. So now you can see again, the second move is going to pull back, sort of, sort of back on itself. It's a very awkward zone, but because we're sticking to right hand side of zone here, we've got a really easy grapple where we can go ahead and go the whole way around on the zone. Then we can just pause on the second for a layer and start looking for kill opportunity. Again, still sticking right side here, which means as soon as this other team actually goes ahead and tries to cut us off, or they try to go narrow walls, because we're a lot more isolated, it allows us to have a really free refresh on them. Honestly, you should have gone like so when late. When storm touched us, yeah. Yeah, be like in storm but, and then do yeah. it. And then look, you yeah. could have easily full sent these kids. Full sent height. The only reason I didn't, because I didn't want to get a massive grief fest. Like if someone else tried to go for our pad, I don't know. You know, like sometimes back of, back of zone pads can just go horribly wrong. Yeah, and, and I was like, if we die here, like it's going to be like, a, I'm going to need a big kill win to clutch to call, you know? So I kind of just padded, played it safe. Because now you're like a little bit fucked because you're full low on the wall. Because we're low, yeah, and right at the middle as well. Yeah, yeah he landed in the middle of the zone. Yeah, look, now you come from this 130, there, yeah. it's like 15. Yeah, yeah. Should have stayed Should have stayed left, right? Even if I wanted to pad early just to be safe. Just land should left have, and then you stick. Landed left and then you, you land full forward. left and you stick left because it was pulling like straight. Yeah. Whenever it pulls yeah. straight, you should always just find like a decent edge and just stick to it. Yeah, and then here... Here, I thought we had a tarp, we did a, a major size in the back before you do it very close to my way. Yeah, you should have that. That's good. Yeah. It's good for a lot of first moving, you're like sprint rotating. Yeah, so we don't have anything to run back through. But I sprint, yeah, it was. It all started with being in the centre, didn't it? Yeah, that's right. If you, have an, if you have an edge and it pulls back, then you know exactly where your tarp is. It should just be like a full edge yeah. around tarp, yeah. So I think you guys just need to like full because a lot of time you're just like swapping randomly and that could go really badly if Nathan didn't just get you. Like Nathan could have died there like twice because he was yeah. back, you know? I think where you were, you probably you probably stay that layer, no? I think yeah. you stay and then get to like left. You don't want to be like right next up. to these yeah. kids. You stay like right there yeah, and you true. tarp a little bit. I mean, then you could have a refresh on these kids here who are like pre-tarping as a solo, right? And then you're also far enough away where these kids can't press you that much. Yeah. But now you're on low with them, which is going to be really difficult. Because you kind of have to fight. 150 below. Well, I was looking, yeah, like, I couldn't do anything on my all. 
Yeah, it all gets like useless. So I was like, right, we're gonna have to go from and then look back again. You think is that you want to pre-edit now because people aren't ready to pre-edit now, though. Like when I was saying. Yeah. Okay. The guy would have been ready. He needs to get out of this zip line. Yeah, yeah but, but Nathan has an SMG. Yeah. So uh, should I carry the SMG or should Nathan in this scenario? This scenario, yeah. I always think that Tarpa should carry the SMG. Yeah, but in this so. case, in this case, it's Nathan with it, gun controller. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But like, I I usually force the refreshes. He just has to sit with his pump out. No, no. Know? I think I think like when when if you're going for a pre edit right, then he should carry SMG. But if you're tarping, then you should have the SMG because you need it to like just take people's walls and such. Like a sod tries to cut you off, you can insta take the wall back. And then here, like. Yeah, you tap in late to get sprayed. Falls back. I honestly think you went down. You could have been a high layer earlier. I know when I said go lower, but I, I don't know. I just I, I like playing low grounds. I mean, the layer that you chose is like still second line. Like, so. Now, when you when you Spider-Man down, you cut off like three teams, which seemed a little bit scuffed. All I'm trying to think is, can a height play possible right now? You're not looking at height at all. That's what I said on my stream. I said, can we take height? If we say can you take height, you're not looking. You don't look. I look. No, you seen the set when I said. Yeah, it's a bit too late now. The answer's probably no, in it? Like, no, but it's a, it's a bit too it's a bit too late. Well, first of all, you know Zone pulled back from them, right? Pretty much. It didn't. I don't think it pulled like like full back, right? So you know they have these. You know they they might like they probably do have these maps. They didn't in this case, but you know they'll have some maps left, right? Yeah. And um, I don't know. You just lost all your HP, so like it's just not really worth it anymore. So right here, you can see these guys get a max distance first moving as well. So one thing you're gonna notice is again they wait for the potential threats. They wait for these high ground players that are playing backside. They wait for them to make a move, and they also wait for the players behind them and the players underneath them to start rotating. And then they use that timing. A lot of the times you can get away with instantly rotating to front side. However, in these really stacked final lobbies, it's better to wait for other people to do similar sort of rotates. And then you can just get a nice timing as well with that. And so you can see, again, they get to a high layer. They make sure they regroup. One really important thing is to make sure whoever's leading actually just gets himself into a good spot. And the other player following can get to them afterwards. Rather than doing it in a split fashion where you try to land on each other perfectly it's a lot better to just make sure you use your charges and then you regroup afterwards like they did there now they're going to hold and look for a kill opportunity on backside as you can see it's very easy to get a kill here because there's so many people rotating and they get pumped in the back or they just end up scuffed on backside so you can very easily get a kill halfway through first moving and they're going to continue on during first moving sticking to a high layer again with queasy leading and then they make sure to tarp in the end of first moving. At this point, they're basically out of Spider-Man charges because they use a lot during mid game, but this is completely fine. It's so much better to be on zero Spider-Man charges in the end of first moving, but at least have decent mats so you can tarp and you can go for refreshes without having to focus too much on actually using Spider-Man over and over and that can put you in worse positions a lot of time. So you can see here, now they're rotating with no Spider-Man, what they're going ahead and do is trying to look for refresh opportunities. Most importantly, they're still sticking to their high layers. There's a potential to go for high ground and they're also sticking the whole way to edge of storm. It's so important that you tarp on edge of storm, especially when other people are going front side with Spider-Man. So that means it's a lot harder for you to get held and also means that you can get into really easy rotates like this where you can just burn through all of your wood and you can see here Queasy saving, saving the majority of his hard maps for when they get in the end of zone. So you can see that Venno gets a nice refresh opportunity on some players that are fighting. At this point, Queasy saved all his hard so they can actually get into the zone. So as we go to third moving here, this is the point in the game where having Spider-Man is basically useless apart from to get mats. So you can see what these guys do is they stick right on each other the entire time during endgame. They're basically always within one box of each other, which means they can always do a trade pump, they can always double pump someone. So whenever they edit a wall just like this, they're always guaranteed to get that kill. As long as Queasy's reaction times aren't too bad like usual, they're instantly going to be able to get their kill just like that and they get insanely stacked from that and now they just need to make sure they stay front they've got fairly decent mats and it's playing back through that old tarp they just need to make sure they stay front and you can see here one really important thing whenever you go for heals is again make sure you do it in the same box either go the whole way to front side then a hard map box and pause for a second or just play through old builds like this where it's kind of full hp is hard to get jumped on and no one can really harpoon in or spray in as you can see very good play by queasy there killing the solo and he makes sure to cover all of his angles from above and from below as he goes for it and then now as Venno's going to go for these kills what you can see here is these guys are both on each other but they're going to go from different sides and they realize okay we shouldn't go from different sides because again that's just where you can run into 1v1 you can run into someone spraying out so they go ahead and regroup 
get together on the same angle and fight from the same angle always. There's no point trying to do anything too complicated, like splitting angles, both going from different sides, trying to wall replace it. Just both fight together, and you're going to get a lot of kills if you do that consistently. As you can see here, on third moving actually pulls back, and it's really important that you're aware of where the zones are played previously, because you can see it pulls straight back, so we need to realize that we need to get both front sides straight away, and we can't really pause or wait or stagger at all on back side in the slides. So both of us need to stick front side as much as possible during these types of moving zones, because otherwise you're going to get cut off by a team, and then your layers can you're really scuffed and because it's playing back through these old builds it's very hard to change layers unless it opens up in some new space so you can see that's what we do we go ahead and just keep tarping for a second make sure we're really cautious of floor and we make sure that we stay front side as much as possible as you can see now on final moving it's going ahead and actually pulling out into sort of open space there's a lot of open space between us so this is where i decide to actually go ahead and drop a few layers and this is where i make a really big mistake in my opinion is as i go to drop a few layers i don't cover my head i get down for fine as you can see here, I just drop down and cover my head like that. However, I should have placed cones over the top so my teammate doesn't have this happen when he gets jumped on, just like that. You can see he goes down to really low HP, and now we have to play extremely passive for the rest of this endgame because I didn't cover his head just like that. One of these to be aware of is whenever you're tarping, always make sure you waste some extra amounts so your teammate is going to be fine to get to you, and you can stay grouped and healthy, since that's the biggest thing at this point. Also, one mistake I made just there was not common that it was an SMG on the floor, as you can see. I was more focused on making sure that I got front side and keep my teammate healthy, but I should have let my teammate get that SMG or bring it to him, and then we would have been absolutely chilling since we both have an SMG in a pump, and we could have easily hopped in box. As you can see at this point, there is a duo on low below us. There's actually a duo just straight above us. And there's also a duo way up on height as well, which is basically making this extremely scuff for us to even find a layer to play from. There's a duo on every single layer that's taken right now, so we have to just full-on fight a team because we're running out of mats. We try to play our mats for as long as possible, and I think here when we've realised this team on low is just full tarping and cutting everything off, we should have looked upwards to try to go for a play, either on the height team or just try to kill one of them, and then obviously we could carry on playing mid or something. But instead we decide to fight the low ground team, as you can see here. Managed to kill one, however my teammate managed, goes down straight away because of a player falling back and still behind him. We only get top four. It's 100% worth in a situation like that where you see the low ground team is full tarping. You also know it's just duos up everywhere since it was top four, eight alive. Should have looked for the weakest duo and then tried to make a play on them either by mantling on height or just trying to get one knock on them by looking back in Storm, would have been a really good play in that situation. So this should have been a top two, really, because we're a duo and like... Oh yeah, but he jumps, I've seen this work, Lev. Yeah, but it's... I had six builds, so I should have just... Built. You know what it is? It's if he just well plays two cones, he just plays two cones, no, and because, you want to fix the grapple... It's, it's because of this kid, you didn't hear him in the uh, water. You probably had visual sound effects saying there was a kid in the water. Yeah, yeah that's just a milk, isn't it? I, I mean... don't know if he can play. You just know, you know there's going to be a kid looking at you. Like, you just guaranteed there's going to be a kid looking at that loot. Did you die on mats though as well? Maybe when you go for the loot, oh, you... Was built. I just jumped through it thinking, I just forgot I had six builds. And then, yeah, this should have been the top. Um, they should have swung them builds in a way. Yeah, you should have. Uh, you should have a lot of like, small things that made you waste stuff. Yeah. Like tarping last second and getting sprayed by height. Like, if you tarp last second and get sprayed by height, you're always going to be like, there focused. As yeah. long as it... I mean, pulled back, so you got a bit lucky, but like, you pulled right, forward, you'd have been full forward. If, if you look at where you are, right, look where you are, you can easily be high ground. Yeah, you can easily look at high ground there. Look, look at, because you look at where they're shooting from, you can hear yeah, the bullets. Yeah, just put them back in the fourth for them, like. Yeah, you can, you can full beam, and if you beam them, it's easy spray out, because they're locked in building. Because it's all back and back. Yeah, okay. They're probably on home. Nah, nah, and then nah, here. Nah, 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 yeah. nah, 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 nah. Let's end the play. I think what but you do is you like just, a solo. It looks like a you solo. realize Hype's just fucking you. <laughs> it so like you a solo. You, right. you just watch run, one run in and you saw a tarp already being made. What? I you saw no, one run in late no, and a tarp being made. I yeah. thought, and I, no, let's go back. I just watched Nathan do it. Watch I that. can't go back. There was two though. Oh, okay, well, you, you, Nathan, you Nathan, Nathan, Nathan watched one run in and then the tarp was ready built. I don't you see think a guy sliding like that, trying to keep you up. But at it's this new point, builds. It's not zone pullback. It's new builds. Well, on my PB, it literally looked like a solo. I even watched Ozzy back on his stream and he went, ah, oh, it did look like a solo. But at this point, I don't think you force a refresh because you still Nathan still had like forty builds. The, the, only, the only problem is that no, you can go for a re the only problem is that <laughs> ARG, you should have killed yourself to storm so you could have got Siphon. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. And the only problem is that I think the going for the refresh is fine, but you just can't do it in that spot because uh, you're going to get sprayed from high. 
Yeah, yeah like you he's... or them get sprayed by hand is still fucked if they hit you. Like if I hit, like you'll you'll be low, you know, from the fight. You know, it's never clean. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you drop because you still have like forty bills. I think you drop, make yourself so you're not second night, you're not getting pressured, and then you focus on a refresh below you, or you try kill the kids above you, and then at that point you're chilling and you get top two because you have the refresh and I told you. I hear this we come to final moving. At this point in the game, it's going to be playing back through old builds the majority of the time, unless it just plays as far. And when it's playing back through old builds like this, it's really important that you make sure, again, that you stick basically fully to each other. You don't commit for anything like that. You see, Venom doesn't even commit there for the loop. Instead, you just make sure he stays front side of Queasy. They've realized their second height at this point. So either they go ahead and try to fight for height, or they go ahead and try to drop for low. As you can see here, their mats aren't really that good to cut off low and top for a second. So they're going to go ahead and decide to play for height. Venno sneaks up while Queasy takes the majority of the attention. However, obviously it's a really good do it. Chase and the traffic's on high ground, so it makes it very difficult to retake, as you can see here. They try to shoot out as much as possible. Chase and connects on the front side. So what they decide to go ahead and do is use mantling instead. This is probably the best way you can take high ground at the moment. You just mantle up over and over. Just like that. And as you can see, Tayson gets Tayson goes down to Venno. Traffic is left alive on high to he's still got fairly decent mats at this point. So Venno's basically got the most that he can do out of this game. He gets pumped to the storm by Chapix, then Tayson Venno gets sprayed down and he goes down. But still, that's a very decent game. At that point, they're either just trying to play for the top two by killing the height team, which they definitely could have done if they hit a little bit more pump shots and queasy in milk. However, as you can see there, it's a fairly decent game from them overall.